Hi guys, in this video we are going to determine the polarity of H2S molecule. It's a chemical formula for dihydrogen sulfide and to determine its polarity we shall first look at its Lewis structure as well as molecular geometry. So here is the Lewis structure for H2S in which sulfur is in the center and two hydrogen atoms are on the outside. But there is also presence of two non-bonding pairs of electrons or lone pairs of electrons on sulfur atom and which is the reason we have to look at its molecular geometry. If there were no lone pairs, this uh, molecule would have been linear, but because of the presence of these two lone pairs, there is a repulsion of force between these two pairs, causing its molecular geometry to be bent. So the shape of the molecule is bent here, and hence there, is a, there are slight chances that this molecule could be polar. For knowing that better, let's look at its structural formula. So the central atom here is the sulfur atom and both these hydrogens are pushed downwards because of the two lone pairs on the sulfur atom. This creates a slightly negative charge on the sulfur atom and slightly positive charges on the hydrogen atoms. Hence there are, there are poles in these molecules and any molecule that has poles is polar. To make you understand better, H2S is a slightly polar molecule because the difference of electronegativities of sulfur and hydrogen is not more than 0 0.4. So although it may seem that it is a non-polar molecule, the lone pairs on these atoms and the creation of poles in this molecule is what makes this molecule H2S a slightly polar molecule. For more such videos on Lewis structure, polarity, molecular geometry of other molecules, subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.